Okay, so today is Wednesday, 22nd of April, 2020, and I have my time to be 11, 10 a.m. in Ghana here. This is my first time doing this, and I hope that after this video, there will be subsequent videos to explain more and more of physics. I would like to start off with a very simple question that mostly comes in our exams or in our WASI exams here in Africa. Show that F is equal to MA, where F is the force, and M is mass, and A is acceleration. Now, for a question like this, we have to go to Newton's laws of motion. And from there, we look at the Newton's second law of motion, which states that the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the applied force and it takes place in the direction of the force so if you look at, look at the expression that i have here i have force being proportional to mv minus mu all over t now this is not there m is the mass v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and t is time now from this equation you know that anytime we have a proportional sign we have to take it off so we have f to be equal to a constant k then mv minus mu all over t from this expression we can also say that f is equal to k bring m out then v minus u all over t in bracket but we all know that v minus u or v minus u all over t is the same as change in velocity all over time and change in velocity or the rate of change in velocity over time is equal to acceleration. So we can come and separate or fix this into this equation so that we have F is equal to K M A. This is the expression that we are arriving at. But our constant K is equal to 1. Therefore, F becomes equal to mass times acceleration. So to show that force is equal to mass time acceleration, you have to start off with stating Newton's second law of motion and then manipulating the equation and finding your acceleration so that you finally come and arrive at this answer. Thank you very much.